Hey guys, it's Clock TV here, and today we are here in the shop. And before we start today's video, we're going to take a look at the trusty Timex Iron Man. Wait a second. Does that say 807? Why are all the clocks an hour ahead? What could this mean? You know what it is? You know what today is, guys? That's right. It's daylight savings time yet again. And this time, we're turning the clocks back an hour. So, we are going to dive right in into today's video because we have a lot of clocks to go over today. So, with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so for clocks like this little guy, they don't have a pendulum inside them, but rather a ticking mechanism. A different ticking mechanism. But, the thing that we can do... And I know people are going to get frustrated at me for this, but it actually works. On clocks like this, you can actually turn the hands back. Without any problem. And it'll still work fine, so... To whoever says it's a bad idea, it... I don't know how to word this, but the clock still works good. So... And following that, we of course have to do the Ridgeway clock. Because that's another one of those. And the other one we can do is our Howard Miller Worthington. This one is also safe to turn back. There are only certain clocks that you cannot turn back. And I'll explain why in a minute, but that's all for those clocks. All right, now we're coming into the uh, striking clocks. For these, we cannot turn them back because they simply will just not work. So here's how we're doing it. We will just stop the pendulum for one full hour. That is the only other solution at this point. Now, let's do the Hermely Bim Bam Clock. Actually, this one is safe to turn back. This one is surf safe to tur tur turn back. Sorry, I can't speak today. <laughs> but yeah, that one is safe to turn back. I forgot that one, so I apologize. But yeah, there's that one. And now we have the Ingram clock. And of course, we will have to stop the clock for one hour. And it is actually ahead by a couple minutes, but that's okay. Now let's move on to the Rocks Hall clock. Because this is a time-only clock, it only has one keyhole on it. It's simple enough. We just turn the hour hand back. You don't have to turn the hands around or anything. You can just turn the minute hand back. Yeah, it's simple enough. Oh yeah, and this big old thing, we are gonna stop the pendulum on this one. There we go. And now for our Howard Miller 613226, we are going to also stop the pendulum on this thing. And then we will start it up again in one hour. So there's that one. Now we have the Spoogel and Company 31 day wall clock. For this one, we will just have to stop the pendulum. This one cannot be turned back. All right, now we're gonna do our Cassell 31-day wall clock. 
And it turns out this one is actually safe to turn back. This one is actually safe to turn back. It does not have any problems afterwards. It will just chime on the same sequence. So yeah, there's that one. Now we come to the antique Japanese regulator wall clock. For this one, we're just gonna stop it. So there's that one. All right, now we're coming into a slightly harder section. That's right, the battery operated clocks. These may be a bit more complicating to turn back only because you can't turn them, the hands on the outside, but I'll try my best. So we are gonna start with this one. And this one. And this one is simple enough, we can just, oh, actually, I don't know if I can. We will just move the hour hand down if I can. I don't think we'll be able to. Yeah, this one is safe to turn back, except I don't have the stand for it. There we go. Now we will head over here to the alarm clocks. These may be a bit more complicating to do, so I am gonna stop the camera here. So we're first gonna turn back the Timex um, alarm clock. So, here we go. There we go. So there's that one. And now we have one that doesn't even have a leg on it. <laughs> JK, it's just loose and it just always falls off. But we are gonna turn this one now, which it may be a bit complicated, but I will try my best. <sighs> okay, I tried. But uh, there's that one. Now we have this rather unusual quartz alarm clock. As you can see, the numbers are just piled down at the bottom. And it's got like a little chain behind it. Well, here's the plot twist. You can actually wear it. You can actually wear it with the chain on your neck. And it makes a really neat... Um, <laughs> It looks really neat and it actually works good. But anyways, let's change it. And there we go. This one is pretty simple, isn't it? Yes. That was simple enough. Here's another simple one. That was simple enough. Now we'll change this one, which is completely made out of glass. There's that one. Here we have this little guy over here, sitting on top of the cassel. So, we are gonna change this one. There's that one. Now we come over here to some of the wall clocks. So, we are gonna turn this one back. And now we come up here and we'll change this one back. There's that one. All right, so I took this one off the wall. Now let's set it.
There's that one. We're gonna get it hung back up now. Now we have this one, so let's go ahead and change it. We first need to take it off the wall, so let's do so. Let's change it now, here we go. All right, now let's get this thing hung back up. All right, now let's take a look at this little guy. It's got a mustache on it, ha 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 ha. Let's take it down and just set it. I got it off the wall, now let's set it. There we go. Oh, and this one up here is pretty easy to change as well. We'll just turn the hands. There's that one. For some reason, this one is running ahead by about 10 minutes, and it's ahead by an hour, but let's take it down and fix that problem. All right, now that we got this clock off the wall, let's set it. However, we can't turn it back because it's actually a chiming clock. And if we turn it back, it could mess up the chime sequence. So we are gonna turn it forward. There we go, that one's been set. All right, now we're gonna take down this guy. So let's do just that. All right, I removed the pendulum from this thing. So let's change it. There we go, now let's get it hung back up. All right, now for this one. This one will be pretty simple enough. We are just gonna turn the hands forward on this one. It does chime, but if we just keep turning, it probably, it won't affect. Oh, except this one's going off now. Now let's change. Let's hope it chimes the right amount of times. All right, it, ch it chimed the right amount of times, so that's good. All right, now I think this one might be the last one we have to change in our shop. So let's get it taken off the wall and let's change it and get this video over with. <laughs> All right, now I got this big old thing off the wall. So let's go ahead and change it. All right, that's done. Now let's get it hung up on the wall. Oh, and of course, we can't forget the awesome grandfather clock. So, let's do it. And, we're going to get to demo the brand new door on it, which we recently fixed. We will stop the pendulum. And, while we're at it, we'll turn it on.
So, there's the grandfather clock. We almost forgot about it. <laughs> okay, so, I think that is, I think that concludes everything in the shop right now. I got all, most of the clocks turned off since they're wound up, and I got the battery operated ones turned back. So, I think we might be finished. So, I think we are going to end the video now. So, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay safe during the coronavirus pandemic. But, with that being said, see you guys later.